Our word of the day. Our word of the day comes from the book of Colossians, chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. And it says, For in him who dwells all the fullness of the Godhead body, body. For in him dwells all the goodness of the Godhead bodily. Who are complete in him, who is the head of all principalities and power. You know, it talks about how the greatness of the Lord and completely who we are in him. We know that God has the power the power, the glory forever and ever. We know that he's in charge, he's in control. So when we see things and that are going on around us, we we truly need to remember that, you know, God has got it all. God is going to take care of it. He has the power. He is our head and we are his body. We just continue to need to just follow him and be guided by him. And he will bless us and continue to protect us and be with us. Let's read a few more verses from Colossians. It says, Colossians chapter 2, we'll start in verse 6 and go to verse 10. And it says, As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him. All of us are called to walk in the ways of the Lord. The Bible clearly tells us to not just be hearers of the word and readers of the word, but we are also to be doers of the word. We know that Jesus Christ is the word. So therefore, he, we are to walk in him. It says, rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abiding in it with thanksgiving. Praise the Lord for that. You know, the spirit of the Lord is upon each and every one of us, rooted in us. I know God is, is truly doing something with our faith, but we know that his word teaches us and guides us and help us. Abiding in thanksgiving, no matter what has gone on, we always give thanks to him. Because we know in the end, we will all be blessed. Beware well, lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty deceit, according to the traditions of man, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. Amen. This is what we truly all see now. We see the, the philosophies and the empty deceit and traditions of men. And we know none of these things are of God. None of these things are according to God. They're all according to what man believes. And that's the people who are all in darkness. These are the people God is trying to bring from darkness into his light. Those who put their faith in all of these things, the traditions, the philosophies, and the empty deceits that happens according to this world, These things cannot save them. They are will no good for them. They will just get them thrown into the pit when it's all said and done. The philosophy and the principles of men will not help them when it's all said and done. Then they will realize that they have been cheated. They have been deceived. But we still pray for them, and we ask God to bring them out of that darkness. This is the darkness our world is in truly today. It's in this world of darkness. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead body. We know that the Godhead body is the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit. That is the Godhead. That's the body we find. That's what dwells in each and other of us. Who are complete in him, who is the head of all principalities and powers. Amen. 
In Colossians 2, chapter 3, Colossians chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, it says, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, and obtaining to all riches and the full assurance of understanding to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. This is why we follow Christ. We know that the word Jesus Christ, we know he saved us. We know that he has the word. He has the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that we all need to get through this life. He shows us and guides us all. We hear his voice and we follow whatever he wants us to do. The hidden treasures of the world, of the knowledge that God has for us, the promises that he makes, that he will never leave us nor forsake us. These are all the things that God truly wants us all to understand. So that we don't be deceived, that we don't fall back into the traditions of man. Because I know man can make things sound like it's right, that it's good, and, and what they say, the rhetoric and the stuff that they speak, it deceives many. And when in the end times, it, many will be deceived and follow them, and they will go to their own doom and destruction. But we know and we understand that Jesus is the truth, the way, and the life. And he wants us all to, to just continue to cling to him, to call upon him. When things get tough, when life gets hard, when it doesn't look like there's no hope, there's always hope because we have Christ. In Ephesians 3 verse 19, it says, To know the love of Christ which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. This is what we want in this life. We want it to be filled with the fullness, the complete and total fullness of God. To be filled with the Spirit all the time, not just some of the time we feel His Spirit, but we want to walk in the Spirit all the time. Every minute of every day, we want to sleep in the spirit. We want to eat in the spirit and drink in the spirit. And we and this people will see when we're walking down the streets or wherever we are, when we're at work, they'll see this spirit, the fullness of the Lord. Praise the Lord for that. In John 1, 16, it says, and, in, and of his fullness, we have received and grace for grace. Praise the Lord for that. We all live in God's grace. The grace that God gives us, the spirit he continues to, to heal us with. He continues to change our hearts. So at that point, we will walk fully in the spirit. You know, God's grace is that we will, we will, not always get it right. We will truly make mistakes. We will do the wrong things. We all will. We still have flesh. We are not in the fullness of his spirit yet. We don't have all of that yet. Once we have that, then we probably will never sin again. We just be walking in the spirit. But now, we, as we walk in this journey, you know, we know that it's God's grace that keeps us all together. It's God's mercy. It's God's faithfulness to each and every one of us. Praise the Lord for that. So let us not forget that today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We thank you that you are just showing us that you, you are in charge, you're in control, you have the power. You, you tell us what to watch out for and you give us your wisdom today and help us to write those things in the tablets of our hearts and let us not forget that. 
Let us not forget the goodness of you, the grace that you give upon us, and the blessings. I know that blessings are coming for each and every one of us. You will continue to answer our prayers in your timing. And we continue to pray without ceasing. That is the answer. Calling upon your name. That is the answer. Looking to you. That is the answer. So help us to remember that when things get tough and we forget about it, help us to remember that. I pray you for each and every one of my brothers and sisters today that you just guide them and lead them and help them in whatever they're doing today. Fill them with your Holy Spirit today. And we give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you all peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.